Good morning, Vietnam. I mean, hey there, fellow wackadoos. That's right, me again, Dr. Doodle. You're stuck with me. So listen, here we are, and this is number 55515. Yeah, episode 15. Woohoo! Okay. So here we are, episode 15, and uh, yeah, today we're talking about the club. Now, if you don't know what the club is, all right, you got to be exclusive to get in this here club. All right, well, it's Dr. Doodle's club, and uh, yeah, we're going to check it out. So, if you, well, first of all, if you remember way back in QBA 07, filed under success, we talked to, of files of different types, and uh, with that episode, we did sequential files, and but I mentioned uh, random files, which didn't want to get into that as a little more advanced. So, this time we're talking about uh, random files and what you'd use them for. So, come on in, join the club, and uh, see what's going on here. Hang on one second. All right, so this is QBA 15, is known as Dr. Doodle's Elite Club. Woohoo! Copy left 2022 by Dr. Doodle. And uh, well, so, what is Dr. Doodle's Club? Well, let's just run this and find out. And here we go, run. Boop. Yep, there we go. Dr. Doodle's Elite Club. Look at here. Join or die. Yes. Uh, but now, see, this is not like uh, this is not like Fight Club. You can talk about. In fact, please talk about Dr. Doodle's Club. You know what? Because tell all your geeky freaky friends about it, and. Um, well, I hate you, but I might get a few clicks, so it'll be worth it. Anyway, here we are. We're good, Dr. Doodle's Elite Club, join or die. And our options are one, edit member profile, two, view member profile, three, sit here looking stupid, or four, bounce out of here. So what we can do first? Uh, come on, you know me. I'm going number three, sit here looking stupid. Boop. Well, what'd you expect? All right, so we'll bounce out of here, and then we'll go with another option. Hang on one second. All right, well now, this is a club where not too much happens, honestly, except the whole lot of number three. But listen up here. Now, uh, we want to view a member profile, but that's going to be rough because we've got no members right now. Okay, so here's what I'll do. I'll enter myself first. We'll hit at one to edit member profile. Beep. Okay. Number number one. Of course, Dr. Doodle's got to be the first, right? And here we go. Front name, Dr. No, no, Doodle. Okay, well, Dr. Doodle. Boop. And back name, Wild Man. Hello, Gypsy. Gypsy just walked in the room. Gypsy has entered the building. All right, so address, Earth. A, Earth, or B, no. Well, of course not. Uh, gender, male, female, none your damn business. You know I'm going with C, government anyway. Age, 21 and over. A, almost. Uh, B, you betcha. Or C, who are you, the stinking bartender? Well, we're going with C, of course. Got to do that. Boop. And there we go. Now, so we created a member profile, namely me, but we need another one. Uh, so let's go with the uh, one edit member profile, and we'll go number two. Beep. And first name Gypsy. That's Gypsy. Hi, Gypsy. Oh yeah, I see you looking at me, cutie. All right. So of course, wild, all right, wild cat. Mm -hmm, because she's a what cat? Address Earth or well, we'll make her Earth because she's an Earthling. Uh, gender B, female of course, and then age. Oh, she's not. She's not 21. I hope not. She's dead by now. So there we go. Uh, almost. Now, let's uh, number two here is view member profile. All right. Uh, ember, edit member number. That's number one is me. And what do we got? Front name, Dr. Doodle. Back name, Wild Man. Address, off world, of course. Gender, do it really matter? Come on now. And age, let's see some ID, amigo. Hmm? Right? Because I didn't tell him. So anyway, press enter to return the main menu. And we'll do number two. And look at number. Now another member. Of course, the other member is Gypsy. Beep. Uh, front name Gypsy. Back name Wildcat. Address Terra Firma. She's an earthling, right? Gender, little Sheila. Sweet little thing. Anyway, age warning. Jailbait detected because she's not 21 yet. Mm -mm, so stay away, boys. All right. So enter to main, main. Little little. Enter to return the main menu. And we're done here, so let's jet out of here. Number four, bounce out of this joint. There you go. That's uh, Dr. Doodle's Club. And we can enter more file uh, uh, member profiles if you feel like it. But, well, well, maybe later. Anyway, let's take a peek at how this thing works here. All right, let's go up. On top. All right. So here we are. We initialize a program. Restart. Now, this restart, well, actually, on error, go to error handler. Uh, I think we talked about that with the previous... Uh, file under success video now in that one uh, we had an error uh, error handler just like there well let's go down here with see what this is all about uh, error handler now select case out what this is if you try to open a file that doesn't exist 
it's not going to open because it doesn't exist. So you get an error, and the error handler says select case option. Uh, case 2 goes up edit mo uh, member profile, and case 3 print file deep. Uh, deep not, derp SPR is not found. Please reinstall. That means, like, when, remember we hit uh, uh, kick, option three where we sat around looking stupid, and well, that image came up that was Mr. Derp, if you remember from our third, fourth video. Well, I saved his image in a file called derp.spr, that's derp sprite. And if you didn't find that file, then you'll get the, the option, or sorry, you get the error. Error handler, yeah, and it'll tell you what option you hit. This is the error. For example, if you hit two, then that member profile, you need to go to that first to create the member profile. And if this one came up, if you hit option three and it generated an error, then you uh, print this, clear screen, print uh, the file's not found, derp.sbr, please reinstall. So that should be clear as mud, but anyway, if there's an error, if the file is not found, either the uh, the uh, club.ini file, initialized file, which holds the member names, or uh, or if uh, derp.sbr is not found, then it looks at which option you selected and and uh, does either goes to that go sub to create the profile, or it prints this message saying the file is not found. So back up here, and here we see on our error go to an error handler, and then after that's been done, it comes back here to restart, starts again. There should be no error because either we've created the profile or we found that file, which I will include with this, this video here because uh, you'll need it for the uh, option three. And, and interestingly, uh, if you notice, the, the left side here was printed right side up, but here it was upside down, and I'll show you how that's done. It's pretty simple. Now, we got something new here. This is a, called a type. We dealt with different data types in the past. Uh, you've got your, of course, your integer. You've got long integer. Uh, there's what? Floating point in a double, yeah, single floating point, double floating point, um, and then what? String, of course, string. Now, you can also create your own data type. I know it sounds odd, but just bear with me for a minute. With the type command here, what we're doing is creating our own data type. And in this particular type, case we're calling it record because it's a record of the member that we're they're entering so type record a front name as string times 20 that means 20 uh, characters no more no less. well you can do less but no more back name as string 20 characters address as string times one because it's the either either a or b you know earth or not a gender as string times one because it's a b or c and then a just as string uh, times one because it's an a b or c again so what this does, this creates a, a data type that is one, two, three, four, five pieces of string, and 20, 43, yeah, 43 bytes long. Now we end the type. But now we have the type, we can't use it yet, we still have to create, like if we're using a variable, we have to create a variable of string type, or a variable of integer type. So we have to create a variable, and we're dimming member info as record. In other words, we're creating a variable called member info, and it's got these five, they call them members in the trades, but five parts, front name, back name, address, gender, and age. So we create our member info variable as a record type. Now we do screen 12 and go sub draw screen. So let's take a look at draw screen. Where is it? Uh, yep, draw screen right here. Just clears the screen at color 12 to make things that are light red or pink. And we print this. And if you notice, it kind of looks like graphics, but it's not. I think we, here, we'll go to help, we'll go to contents, and where is it? Dude? Did ASCII character code, see right here. Uh, now, ASCII, of course, has got the different codes for, oh, you've got uh, the, the numbers, the, yeah, numbers here, five, six, seven, there's letters, also punctuation, such, he's crazy, look at, uh, hearts, diamonds, clubs, and spades, all the queer, weird things, but then we scroll down here, and look, we've got pseudo, or sorry, pseudo graphics, you can draw the single lines, the double lines, the corners, you got, uh, what is it, blocks here, you've got uh, spacers, and all kinds of crazy things, but that's all I did here, I will exit here, escape out of here to close that, so what we're doing is printing characters that happen to look like graphics. 
This was done back in the day before graphic cards were invented to give you some sort of a, well, you could, if you noticed on the screen, we had a divider there where we put this section here, this, you could section things off. You can uh, do funny ASCII, I'm sure you've seen ASCII artwork in the past, but same idea. So we draw the screen here, uh, maximize this, draw the screen, print all these to create that box. Now we print in that box, you print Dr. Doodle Elite Club, join or die options. These are simple things we've seen before. Once this is all done, we return. Now we go back to, where are we? Uh, go to the browser and we go right to here, the start of the main program. Now we are, go to the, the start of our loop here and we get opt, e set that equal to the value of in key. Now we're using val instead of in key because in key is text and we need the value so we can check case one, case two, case three, or case four. But in any case, we got, uh, any case, no pun intended, we've got our option, we, we've taken the in key, whichever option we'd chosen, took the value of that and saved it an option. Now we select case option. Case one is go sub edit member profile. We're creating a member profile. Case two is view member profile, the profiles that already exist. Case three is derp. That's we show Mr. Derp on the screen there. And case four, clear the screen system that just bounces us out of here. And select loop. And But we've got the system here, so it's not going to loop anymore. That ends the program. So there you have it. That's the, the main program. Now we look at our subroutines, which we already saw a draw screen. And here's where the nitty gets gritty. Edit member profile, clear screen, and we're printing all this again. Now if you notice, we're not just using draw screen because this box is bigger than it was on draw screen. We got some more prints in there. So we, we print our box that we're going to be uh, putting info, info in, into. Then we locate 210, that's the, the top part of the box there. Enter member number. So if you notice when I, if you remember, when I created my uh, my profile, since there were no other members, I used member number one. <laughs> Makes sense, right? So I input member number, saves that in memnum. Memnum, that sounds like a, I don't know. Anyway, uh, the print, howdy partner, and it, it prints all of these different, uh, I'm sorry, inputs, print, Howdy, partner. Let's grab your deets. Then it goes for input member front name. Now, if you remember, we created this vi this variable called member info info as a record with all these parts to it. So here's where we use those parts. I'll show you what I mean. Enter member number. That's just to tell which member it is. Howdy, partner. Let's grab your deets. Now, member front name. That's the, what the text that you, shows up on screen, so you know what to put in there. Now we go member info dot front name. That's where we put information into member info dot front name, the, the first name. Then we got input member back name, member dot info back name. So it's it's prompting you to put in this, it's prompting you with this text saying, hey, put in the back name, and then it saves it as member info dot back name. Now we go to here, locate 10, 910 and print A Earth, print 1010 B no, and then input address, member info. So the address is where you put either A or B, and it puts the address into member info dot address. You can almost think of this type as like an array. You know, remember where we got like a sometimes called list variables? Well, we have a list of information, but this is just one variable we're using now and we're only using it because we write over it whenever we need to we don't need to save it you can create a an array of type record or whatever type you want to create that's a little more advanced here than we want to deal with but for now this is a variable called member info and it has these parts or members called front name back name address uh gender and then what was the last one here age okay so here we go locate 10 print a male print b female print c none your damn business and then input gender where the member info dot gender that's where that gets populated with a b or c now we print a almost b you betcha and c who are you the stinking bartender and finally we go with input age 21 or over now we uh, put the uh, the, the age into member info dot age. So the age part of the member info variable. Woohoo, that was a mouthful. So that's where we get our info. And after that point, now we open club dot INI for random as len, len number 44. Now, if you remember, let's go zip up here a minute. We got this. Here's the, our type record. And it's a used record because it's actually a record of a member. It could be a, a record of a, a business if you're doing business with other businesses. But type record and it has 20, 40, 1, 2, 3 bytes of information. So we go down here. 
Where'd it go? Yes. Open club I and I, club initialize, for random as number one, length 44. Because the variable is 43, 43 bytes, we want to open with 44 just to give one byte buffer in between. Now, normally, if you don't put the len length in there, It'll just open with a length of 128, and you've got all this wasted space in between the records. We don't want that. The, the file will get huge too quick. So we open this in, this club.ini for random as number one. In fact, as, well, no, we're actually using two files. We're using the club.ini, and we're using derp.spr. So that's why the number one, we're going to open it as number one with a length of 44. Record length of 44, I should say. So now... We put into number one mem num and then because the, it's member number one and or whichever member it happens to be and then member info. Now we just put the member info in there and all these different parts: uh, member info gender, uh, member info age, and uh, front name, back name. All those parts they go along with it. So you just put that one piece, uh, one variable into me, uh, into club .ini. Well, two. We got member number and then mem, mem info. Put that in the club I and I, and then close number one. Now we've created our file with uh, the member information in there. Uh, when we go to number two, uh, now we go sub draw screen to show the main screen again. We can select whatever option we want. In the next case, of course, we'll go to number two, view member profile, and it draws its own box again. A little different than the first one. So here we locate. Input, enter, member number, mem num. Which, which member do you want to look at? Number two, one, number two, number 30,000? Yeah, I wish. So we'll locate and print greetings member. Let's peep your profile. Now we open club I and I for random again. Notice it's not input or output, it's random. You can do either or with random. And as we mentioned in the last video, you can zip through. You can, if, with uh, input, append, and output, those are for sequential files. You put information in, it goes to the next file, the next line, the next line, the next, next line, next line, and you have to read through all these lines to get to the, the information you want. With a random file, you can put the, the data in anywhere you want to. And let's say you got seven members in there and you want to edit number five or number number two. You go specifically to that point in the file and maybe you misspelled the front name or, or you uh, put the wrong age with that information in there. So now we're opening club I and I for random again as number one. Also again, record length number 44. We get member number, whether it's one or two, and then member info. We really don't need to get member number because we know which member we're looking for, but just for the sake of it, uh, for keeping it even, because you'll have member number and then info, member number and then info. This way it helps it to find the right record. So we get one, file one, mem number, and then member info. And again, brings all the parts along with it. Front name, back name, age, address, all that stuff. Now print front name. There's the front name. Print back name, member info dot back name, uh, locate address. Now, if you case member address equals A, then print terra firma, else print off world. In other words, uh, for this question, the address is going to be either be A or B, A, Earth, or B, no. So if it's A, if it happens to be A, then print terra firma earth else print off world and if now we come down to print gender and select case member info dot gender if that happens to be a your boykins if you're b sheila and if it's case c print do it really matter and select again finally age locate 12 10 print age uh, select case u case uh, member info dot age this part of the variable here It'll be in the, the file. We just bring it up from the file. A case A is print warning jailbait detected because you're not the one I want. And the case B is crack open a cold one, bruh. And C, where you don't want to answer, let's see some ID, amigo. And we weren't, weren't born yesterday. You might be, but we don't know. So end select. Now we close number one and locate to 1510. Input press enter to return to the main menu. Dummy, as we spoke in the last uh, the last video about this, dummy, we could actually just put uh, sleep in there, but this is a, a, a dummy variable, hence the name dummy. We're not actually using it. We're just we're not actually going to use the information. We just use it to pause the program. In other words, until we hit a key, it's just going to sit there looking stupid, like me. Uh, but once you enter it, some it's a, like sort of space key or whatever enter key. 
that information just be taught, tossed away. We're not using it. So go back to draw, draw, go sub, draw screen. We draw the screen again, all the options, everything else, and we return. Now, derp, this is interesting. I think I told you earlier we'd, we'd look into this. Derp is where if you hit selection three and it says, well, what'd you expect? But also, look at here, open derp.spr for input as number two. What I did here is I took the image of Mr. Derp that from the previous, the game that we created, oh, how many thousand years ago? And I put it up on screen, then I scanned through it. Kind of if you remember in the, in the um, if you saw the graphics functions, the graphics library video, where I do text I, I, straight across or rotated this way or rotated that way. I just scanned the image, scanned the screen with the image on it, pixel by pixel by pixel, got the number for each pixel, and then I saved it in this file called derp.spr, which incidentally happens to be a sequential file because we just read start to finish. We're not jumping through it. We're just reading the, the, the data for the each byte. So now for X and Y, we input number two num with the, the picture, the pixel number, excuse me, the color number, I should say. And we preset X plus 50, Y plus 100 num. And this, so this is printing, yeah, here we go, X plus 50. So it's this far over, Y plus 100, this far down, num. So as it goes, it prints line by line by line, line prints Mr. Derp right side up. But look at here, preset X plus 350, 351, over here, now 140 minus Y. So this is going up. We're printing this one right side up from the top down. And this one over 300, it's 300 pixels over, we're printing from the bottom up. Same information, same colors, but opposite directions. That's why this one's upside down. That is why I like this technique. You can, you can invert images, you can rotate 90 degrees, what have you, but it's, it's not quite so simple as just getting put with uh, the derp game the derp mr derp the derp and the dude game that we created not quite that simple <clears throat> but it's a little more versatile so again we open derp sp spr derp sprite for input as number two for y equals zero to 40 we're just going here to here and uh 40 yeah because it's 40 lines up or down and it's 46 pixels across for x now we input number two num we preset the the yeah the the pixel number for x and y over here and x uh, 140 minus y over here so we're printing like that next x next y close number two and then locate 8 and 16 print well what'd you expect return that's pretty crazy wasn't it i hope i explained that well enough if not just rewind the video again and and, and you know hopefully you'll you'll understand basically what's happening and then finally, we got our error handler, which we looked at before. That's it for the program. Uh, hopefully, it's it's pretty clear and easy to understand. Well, let's just run it a few more times, enter a few more a uh, few more member names, just to, uh, to to solidify the whole point. What's going on here? Hang on. All right, now here we are uh, back at the the main screen here, where there are options: one to edit member profile, two view, three sit around looking stupid. I just love this. Here we go. Let's sit around looking stupid a while. Well, what would you expect? But if you remember, I just spoke of how we draw from the top down and from the bottom up here. That's why he's upside down. Now, we go with number one to edit a member profile. And member number three, because he's the third member, or will be when we enter him. And there we go. Now, front name. Uh, let's talk about my buddy Frankie here. Frankie, there you are, pal. Back name, Stein. Is that right, Ian? I think so. Close enough. <clears throat> now, address a, Earth, or B, heck no, he's not from Earth, you kidding me? Gender, well, parts of many way are male. There we go. And then age, oh, you betcha he's 21 and over. So B, there we go, bang. So now we've created our member profiles. Let's take a look at our members. What do you got here? Number two, view. Oh, who am I look at? Gypsy just walked in the room, so we'll just take a peek at her information. Here he is, here she is, uh, Gypsy, lab, back name Wildcat, and she's from Terra Firma. We established that. She's a Sheila, sweet little girl, I love her. Uh, but warning, jailbait detected. So enter here, yeah, let's take a look at another member, as uh, number two, boop, and we want to see member number one. Uh, not that, no, one. There we go. My, yours truly, of course, Dr. Doodle Wildman. Uh, my address is off-world, of course, because of course. Uh, gender, do it really matter? 
Honestly, do it really matter? Anyway, uh, age, let's see some ID, amigo. I'm telling you my age, screw that. Now we'll go to number two, view member profile, and which one? Number three, of course, good old Frankie. There he is, front name Frankie, back name Stein, dress off world. Yeah, it's like the rest of us, right? Uh, gender Boykins. He's, he's well again parts of many way boys and age crack open a cold one because he's definitely a cold one or well parts of more but now they're warm again. So here we go back to the main menu. Hope that solidifies everything. But let's just take take a peek here. Bounce out here and just to make this boring video a little bit longer, we're going to go to shell. <laughs> Now, clear the screen, we want to type, T-Y-P-E, there we go, club.ini, let's take a peek. See, there it is, all the information, Dr. Doodle, Wildman, BCC, what, that's uh, off-world, and then uh, age and gender, here's Gypsy Wildcat, A-B-A, -A, Frankie Stein, B-A-B, -B. and now, notice these spaces here, it's because that's 20 spaces, remember, we, we create, uh, we created the type the record type with 20 spaces for the front name 20 spaces for the back name uh yeah and then just one space each one byte each i should be saying for the a b and c that's what uh address gender and age same with gypsy 20 spaces wildcat 20 spaces uh aba frankie 2020 20, and then one one bit byte each so remember i was talking telling you about how we open that the file with uh exit here remember I was telling you how we opened the file with a length of 44 let's just do this for something a little different where are we here ba 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 mm, yeah edit member profile we we'll just remark that out so it's not not happening again and run now we're going to edit member profile we'll go with uh, number yeah I'll go with one why not that's me and my front name, Dr. Doodle, as always and ever. And last name, Wild Man, <laughs> because I am what? A wild man. This time we'll do addresses Earth, yeah. And gender, let's see, well, I'll enter now with a male, age and 21. Well, I don't like to admit it, but yes, I am slightly over 21. So H A, there we go. So as we, we just saw, we changed the open instead of open length number, just no uh, length number, no record length number, and we edited my profile. So let's take a look here, uh, view, enter member number one, that's me, Dr. Doodle Wildman, Tara from Boykins, open, crack open a cold one, bro. And look here, uh, look at another member profile, this time number two, Gypsy. Well, what's going on here? There's no information here. Well, the reason is, uh, get out of here, number four. And now let's take a look at this file again. Type club.ini. Now notice all these extra spaces here. Yeah, what this does, again, we got uh, Dr. Doodle, Wildman, AABA, but all the spaces in here. And, and then we're the uh, gypsies here. Gypsy Wildman, Frankie Stein, AB. B A B. So this ran to the next page all the way to here. Here's Gypsy, Wild Man, A B A, and all this space. These are just bytes that are being used for no reason. Frankie Stein, B A B. We want to fix that, so we'll exit and do the. Oh, first of all, D E L uh, Club I N I, and we'll start all over. Go back to where is it? Uh, Edit member profile. Open club for random is number one. This time we'll put back the len equals 44. 40, 43 bytes per record, so we're putting an extra one in there just for good measure. Running again, we're going to edit member number one. That's me. Enter, and hang on. Let me just put this data in here. So we've got our... Our, our member information or member profiles edited. Let's take a number, uh, look at them just to make sure they're still there. We can see them. Yep, I'm in there. Uh, number two to view. Let's look at Gypsy. There she is. And there we go. And, and now we'll, we'll check number three. Frankie, there's his information. Good. So it's all back as it was. Four. And to prove that to ourselves, we will take a look at the shell here, take a look at the file. Type 
club i clud club ini and there we have it see front name back name aba just one space so we're not wasting all that space one bite gypsy wildcat aba one more bite frankie stein bab and then there you have it much smaller file that's why we use a record link and that's how we use uh, uh, random files Again, it's random because we opened it for random, and we could have put random numbers in there, random text, uh, basically anything really, any kind of, of information. But uh, we're opening it for random so that we can search through. We can check this this record if we want to, or we check that one or that one. We don't have to go one through the other. We just go through one to the other. We just go wherever we want to. And that's that. Uh, now, before we exit here, before we end this video... Uh, of course, we got to do superiors, and uh, let's see who we got this time. Uh, hang on a second, we'll bring up superiors, and then we'll close this pig down. Superiors! superiors. All right, now, as I have mentioned in the past, I am a fan of, of many wonderful creative creators. Yeah, but there's different types of creators. Uh, many, most of them, in fact, that I've shown you so far have been more or less how-tos or, or, or tutorials, educational things. Uh, but then there are people who create just for the for the sake of creating and, and uh, well, arts and such. Now, this, this young woman uh, named Aileen uh, Mireles, I, I believe, is, uh, I'm not sure. She's from Brazil, actually, so I'm not sure of the uh, pronunciation of the pay, the name there but her page is amazing it's called Prague and more and on it she plays all these different uh, let's see well here's the videos if you're into progressive rock or even not because there is just some beautiful beautiful work on here it, it, I mean she plays the piano and wow ex this young woman is extremely talented sometimes her father will join her for a duet and it's just amazing to watch the two of them go at it but uh go at the keys i should say what well, where's the one that uh let's see if i can find it um oh if you're a fan of uh triumvirate at all this is a cold old worried, worried lady i won't play too much of it copyrights and all that but i well she got away with it so I probably don't won't get copy strike Let's just hit this for a moment, but just so you can see. Oh, I just love that. So beautiful. Well, anyway, let's go back to her home page here. Uh, da, da, da. Where is it? Prague and more. In fact, another beautiful one. Uh, this is, where'd it go? Videos. I, I don't know if you heard of a Swedish band called uh, Moon Safari. But wow, she played one. It's, which is it? Um, World's, World's Best Dreamers right here. Maybe we can sneak in a clip of this one. In fact, this is the song, the video that informed me about... Yes, as I mentioned, this is the video that uh, informed me of the existence of Moon Safari. So I checked it out. Oh, this is from their album, uh, which is at uh, um, Lover's End. Yeah, amazing stuff on all their albums have great stuff. But again, if you wanted to hear some samples of beautiful stuff, you know, rock and roll, but it's prog rock and it just just wonderful playing. You have to check out her page just to enjoy her playing it, but also to hear the new the new music you may not have been experienced to before. And she is so talented, I can't say enough about her. And uh, I think you'll enjoy every every piece that you hear. I know I do. So definitely check out Prague and more. You'll be happy you came. And all right, now back to the video. Let's wrap this pig up and see where we're going here. Hang on. All right, now that should just about wrap it up for this episode. Of I'm an episode which I'm sure you'll agree went way on way too long. 
Uh, but hopefully next one will hope the shorty praying for a shorty because you know that's less work for me and less torture for you but uh should be a pretty quick one in any case check out Prague and more you will be so happy you did it's oh, amazing you just to sit and listen and sculptors uh, musicians stuff there's all, so much great stuff on youtube check it out um oh before i go i want to number one thank you for watching if you have well if you haven't you're not seeing this so thank you for watching uh, number two comment Talk to me. Let me know what you want to see. Let me know what I'm not explaining well enough, which is probably everything. Um, and, you know, I'm not going to beg you to like, subscribe. You kind of want to. But I'm not going to beg you to like or subscribe. However, you know, if you'll share this with your friends, uh, geeky freaks that, that you want to just piss off. Because, so send them here, waste their time, and uh, who knows? Maybe they'll send some of their geeky freaks. Uh, yeah. I don't know if I can add any more to that, so we're just going to shut this down here, and um, till next time, hasta la pizza, baby.